What's up, everybody? All right, we are back with a more Mass Effect Legendary. I'll give you a look at some of the stuff. Okay, so um, what I did was here you, you want to change if you've been using stuff for synthetics, uh, like the bullets and everything, or the tungsten rounds. You want to switch them over to the shredders. Because everything you'll be fighting here is now organic. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the one thing I do remember about this part. Um, I think I'll talk about everything else once I actually get in there. I don't know if this affects the thing or not, but I'm going to keep it. I just don't know if it does anything to the like that. Uh, I just don't remember if it does. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and head on in. Some eerie ass music. Okay. <laughs> Thirty two paragon. Nice. So we managed to get past that whole part. And not, uh, I still don't have enough Paragon to get those last two, uh, spots. That is insane. Uh, alright. Well, we got past the whole thing without killing anyone. Uh. Definitely gone. Yeah, keep her on the shotgun. Trying to remember everything about this part. I remember some stuff and then some stuff I don't. So, but this is the Thorian that's coming up. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it, what it, Kira. What is that? <laughs> that does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Yeah. Damn, this damn thing is bigger than I remember it. That's fucking gross. Oh, wow. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat. Good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. And will listen no more. Um... I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Yeah, so... Your blood will feed the ground and the growth. All right, now these things are the most annoying part of this. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. So you, this, you want to shoot the node over here? Kind of try to let your teammates deal with the... Uh, damn, they're coming in here. Uh, every, and every time you... Sh God damn it, I keep forgetting. Okay. Now, it's cool, right, to tunnel them here, if you want. Um, and then you can kind of take them out. But the more you uh, walk around killing these things, 
the more uh, you're going to keep running into these uh, these things. And they ain't moving right now, but they move. They'll move when you uh, start killing those nodes. I didn't understand how he was doing it. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, did he, um... Get down. Yeah, so it's pretty effective against him. Is that coming from? Engaging. Uh. Yeah. These things are the most annoying part of this. You can take them out. Also, this is case. But they come from everywhere. Now watch, uh, I think they come from over here. If I'm not mistaken. No? On the bottom? Nope. That's really it though. It's the, it's, that's the most annoying part. And I have no more grenades. Look at she keeps switching to that damn um pistol. Uh hitting the damn reload button and messing up all my grenades. It's so hard though, man. Everything is, you know, it's like programmed in my mind to hit square. All right. Kill it already? Okay. Well, that uh was nasty. Damn, she got bold, huh? I get hit that. We getting there. Okay, there's a room of them over there. As long as you don't start shooting that thing, they don't really wake up until until then. Finally! <laughs> Finally! Alright, Tali. 
that chameleon tool, tool sucks. Oh my god, that is horrible. Finally, we got you some armor. Something. Nice. God. Like, look at how, like, junk that, uh, that armor is. I'm actually gonna turn that to Omni Gel. I'm telling you, man. Ridiculous how long it took uh, to get, uh. So now I'm just gonna shoot it and back up. That's, uh. Sabotage in here. There we go. There we go. Okay, I don't know where that came from then. I think that dampening hurts uh, biotics a lot, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I always try to make sure I say that, you know, you know, if not, if you're not doing well, I truly pray for you. There's a lot of shit going on right now. I got a lot of friends that are going through a lot of stuff. People losing family and where the hell else do we go? Okay. He snuck it in just in time, didn't she? This is the part where you get it, it can it can be a little irritating and try to melee your way through it. Yeah, being stuck on the stairs is not great. Where is it at? I didn't realize their health was that low. Okay. Perimeter secured. All right. No other way to go up.
suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Oh, I was making copies of her. Okay. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Hmm. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. Damn, the she's kind of on the thick side. <laughs> it can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. God. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Wow. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Uh, so yeah, the Thorian see. taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. It's okay, the moon's like, all right, now. Nah, the threads me. that bind us. <laughs> the with, the, with that eye, he like, I'm trying to freaky shit, all right? Galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I apologize if that's really loud. It sounds loud in my headphones, but I don't know how it sounds for y'all. So she got an attitude. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. 
We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Okay, now we gotta ask tons of questions. Is there to anything ask, else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Uh... Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You could say I can't let you live? The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I did not get to ask her you any of the it. other stuff. But the Jesus Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves I think it was going to take to the end of the conversation. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. That sucks. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. See if I can find her. Maybe I can ask her again. I hope Exo Jenny learned their lesson. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. We'll start over. What else? Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out. Okay. Hopefully everyone leave this up. I hope Exo Jenny learned from this. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Okay, you can't still ask her. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Uh... Yeah. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. Okay. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he's dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Okay. I think I already said that. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. 
A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Okay. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Okay, at least we got to talk to her. Uh, I don't think we really think we can... Exogeny better fund us like they agreed to. We'll make it. It'll be rough. We'll make it. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Hmm. Let me see something. Uh, what are you What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Why still sound of like course. shit around here blowing up? Return in the future, <laughs> and I may even have more to see. Uh. You know what? Again, I think I'm gonna wait. Sell that. Sell that whack ass thing. Sell for a lot, jeez. I don't know about the cryo rounds, man. Ah, uh, I'm just not sold on them. Uh, I don't even think I need that need that many. Uh. Kinetic buffers. Definitely don't need the proton rounds. Rail extensions. The shield modulator. <laughs> I don't know why it pops up in my head like that. <laughs> One of these has got to be great. I have to see though. Definitely trying to get this, uh, get the numbers up, <laughs> the sales up. Let's see, exoskeleton. We have a higher version. I wish you could move easier through this menu. But you cannot. Yeah, yeah, so we get rid of basically everything that's below a six. Uh, except the coating. I might hold on to that too. I don't know. And the shredder rounds. Hold on to those. The tungsten. I don't know if the one that he has is better than that. Yeah, some of these are not great. Scenery explosion. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
Ah, yeah. I think we got a lot that's higher than that. Damn, we almost had a million dollars. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I could buy that thunder. You know, but I, I want to get that uh Spectre equipment. So, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Let's go see how everybody's doing. Thank you for everything you did. All right. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. They tell me you survived the coups. Glad you're on our side. Pharos will be back in shape in no time, Commander. We'll make sure of it. That's cool. We can hack this thing again. I don't know if that's the same thing and it just keeps making me hack it over again. people in here free I can't believe I'm free I'm free thank you for giving me my mind back thank you for everything you tried to do here all right these people are brave but the gas are relentless my people know this better than anyone all right think we can head on that Maybe a few more people to talk to. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. Hmm. It will take time for things to get back to normal. All right. Thank you for freeing us. All right. So, everybody is very thankful we free them. Good feeling. This was a good mission here. Um, pretty good uh, set sets of things they have you do to help liberate these people. And we saved everybody, so that's fire. I remember, uh, I think on the last, the first, well, the first time I played long ago, I think I like accidentally killed two people because I threw the wrong grenade. <laughs> I never did change the Thorian grenade. <laughs> Stand by. Show I threw the grenade up there and it's like, pow, and people was like flying, like, ah! That shit was crazy. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Okay. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. See it all again. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The Jealous beacon man. on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Hmm. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Huh. Okay. Uh. Now what? What's our next move? 
I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. <laughs> look how annoying he can be. be. It didn't knock me out. Like, rest. I Somewhere mean, it didn't quiet. tire me out. Dr. Chakwas oh, my bad. will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Press it again. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. What? The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Oh my god, bro. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not oh, want things God. to become unpleasant. <laughs> Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, <laughs> somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Oh, boy. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. <laughs> Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. I didn't think this is going to happen. You keep smartassing me. I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. This is this is definitely new for me because uh, like I I just romance Ashley from the beginning. The first time I played through the whole thing, this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's a cat fight. <laughs> cat fight. <Real. laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's calm down. Both of you, settle down. We can handle this like mature adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. And see, and right there with her attitude and the things she says, it kind of makes you feel like she shouldn't be romanced in the first damn place. Because she's like, she's, she's very like racist towards other um, species and stuff like that. It's just like, she doesn't really, after now I'm seeing her like this, she just doesn't really seem like a really good person. <laughs> just to me. I mean, maybe, maybe I know she has some things happening in her family and stuff like that, and she don't like aliens and all this stuff like that, but it's just, like, she really a nasty person with the things that she says, and, like, Liara's not even, like, talking bad about her or anything like that. So it kind of makes me feel like Liara is, like, the most of the time, like, the canon love interest because of the connection between her and Shepard. I heard some people have like um good relationship with Tali and everything like that, but I haven't um got a chance to do that yet. You're special to me, Ash. Yeah. Kinda hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little blue friend on the side. Or is that my role? This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you of my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. Uh, don't be. You were right to tell me, Liara. I feel the same way. I've heard enough. We're resolving this now, Shepard. Me or her. <laughs> you say, can I have you both? <laughs> Good I never meant for you to get hurt. But Liara's the one I really care about. Hey, we're all grown-ups here, right? Hope you two will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. She hurt, boy. Hurt, hurt, hurt. I feel bad for her, Shepard. 
I hope she'll be okay. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. Uh-oh. You know, little porn music. <laughs> oh, man. That's a funny com that was a funny conversation. I never got confronted like that. Uh, all right, let's see what some... Does Hackett have anything to say? Yes, Commander. Uh, no. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I'll talk to Joker last. So we're just gonna make the rounds and talk to everybody. Um, I'll start with the bottom floor. Is it too quick to talk to her? Let's see if it is. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Real talk. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Yep. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's, What's the, the occasion? occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human yeah, ever to surrender that's to right. an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be yeah, better than hate best, aliens if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. Why, why would he, he be a lot though? Later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. I mean, that was the smartest thing to do. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. She does speak from my heart, though. I, anyway, I will give her that. I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismiss, Chief. And now him and her will kind of have like this friendship that you'll see kind of blossom, and it's a, it's a, it's a really good friendship. Um, it becomes it becomes one. Uh, no, I'm gonna take that for myself. Yes, I'll give her that one. Oh, it's the same one she already has. Okay. Uh, give it to Garrison. 
Yeah. Uh, let's see what Rex has. Shepard. Uh, we talked to him about all that. Did we? So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? <laughs> I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. Damn. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. Right up his alley. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I can see that. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. I can agree with him there to a certain extent. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right, Garrus, what you got? I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. there if the go. people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Uh, let me see. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Wait, the same thing. I don't have time for this. Oh, goodbye, Commander. <laughs> oh God, that just it sounded like they came out all wrong. <laughs> Was like, oh, um, yeah. Sorry, did you feel that it way? It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Telly. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. Um, did we ask about a father? I think we asked her about all this. God, I can't remember. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the admirals. Yeah, he yeah, we did. He never. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us any. Like what? I should go. See you later. Yeah. 
I think we we talked about all that with her. I remember her saying something to that effect. Talked to Linko and then Liar. He probably not gonna have much to say though, knowing him. I hate how he walks up on him in that creep, this creepy way, and just stares at him. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. I the paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made 26 me years is quite a while. Were. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon. Right in my face. Damn. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost Ooh. as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Why did his voice come in louder now? Maybe my intentions were noble. But I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Damn. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Yeah. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Now... <sighs> Uh, Ashley, like I said, Ashley is very, um, it comes off like as not a good person, but then you kind of find out, like, about her granddad, and she just has a lot of scars from all the shit, but when you have to choose between her and, um, a uh, shot, shotgun call Armageddon, damn, <laughs> when you have to choose between her and Caden, it, it's, a uh, I end up choosing Ashley just simply because I like her story better, if that makes sense. Uh, I am going to start putting more stock into the shotgun. That is not great. Let me see this thing. Two seconds. I might give that to Rex. Yeah, cause uh, I don't know. I need I need more uh, heat sink than that. That's a little ridiculous. Um, let's see, what am I gonna put these into? Could feel commando all the way out. You know what? I'll put it in shotguns. I need to start using shotgun more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end here. Let me see if the doc has anything to say. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? I, um, but humanity I should go. Need... Goodbye, Commander. 
Uh, yeah. So I'll end here. We come back. We'll finish talking with Liara. I'm gonna change all her stuff and off off screen and everything. Uh, but thank you guys for rocking with me through this. Um, thank you for checking out the vids. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you enjoy the content, it really helps out the channel. Coming up close on 100 subscribers. I want to say thank you to everybody. I think I'm at about 95 now, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, when you guys come back, we'll be I think doing this and probably do a few more of the side missions because we got we got a few of them and head back to the Citadel. Yeah, I'll probably head back to the Citadel first just because I think there's a couple of things you can do there. But um, yeah, thank you guys for checking out the vid. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.